Hi, this is Jessica Alvaretto, and this is a tutorial on how to import a book from one resource to another. The first criteria in order to be able to do this is to be considered a teacher in both resources. So if you haven't done that, you'll have to take care of that first and then come back to this tutorial. If you are considered a instructor in both resources, you will be able to accomplish this task. First thing you want to do is open the resource that you want the, the book to be in. In this case, it's going to be the sandbox. The next thing you, you want to do is select under administration box, import. In this case, I need to double click. And hopefully it will open. There it is. And then you need to select the course that you are borrowing from or the resource. So in this case, I'm going to use Academic Advising Resources, Counselors, and Academic Advisors. Choose Use this course. And then you will see a list of all of the potential items that you could borrow from this resource. And then since I don't want everything, I'm going to go up here and choose None. And that unchecks all of the potential items. Then I'm going to focus in on the item in which I'd like to import into my course. So I'm going to choose Lane, Departments, and Resources. Then I'm going to go down here to the bottom, and I'm going to select course, Look at Course Files and say No. That would mean that everything that is stored within the course that I'm borrowing from will be brought into the course that I'm the instructor for. So you want to make sure you say no. You do want to say yes because if there are site files in the course that you need, you will um, be associated with that book. So I'm going to say continue. and say continue again and go down here to continue lots of continues go down here to the bottom say continue and now look for the resource I mean excuse me the book that I have imported so it was the lane departments and resources. The challenge is that I have to figure out where it landed. So it landed right here in section 4 under Kim's uh, section. So that concludes this tutorial. We were successful. Yay!